Hello, Adika. Welcome back to Ian Aroma. In today's episode, we'll be talking about how to spend your four days and three nights in the city of Bangkok. But before we start, if you are new to my channel, my name is Erwin Aganonosko and this is Ian Aroma channel. We discuss about tourism and hospitality and I have a Tagalog Tuesdays, every Tuesdays, that I speak Tagalog about overseas Filipino workers and LGBTQI plus community. So if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up, you can share it, and you can even click subscribe to be updated on the following videos that I will upload here on YouTube. Without further ado, we can now head and discuss how will you spend your four days and three nights in the city of Bangkok. The flights that you'll be spending going to Bangkok from Europe will cost you around 500 to 600 euros return. And if you are from the Philippines, you will be spending at least 6,000 to 7,000 pesos return from Manila going to Bangkok. For the hotels, basically you can just spend 5 euros, 2,000 euros <laughs> per night depending on your budget. So normally, every time we go to Bangkok, we only spend like 30 to 50 euros a night in a hotel. And that will give you a very comfortable room and a free breakfast. But of course, if you are on a budget, if you only want to spend like 5 to 10 euros, you can find a lot of backpackers hostel in the city of Bangkok. On your first day, I suggest for you to go to the Grand Palace or the Royal Palace. Built in 1782 when Bangkok officially became the capital of Thailand. Do not miss the temple of the Emerald Buddha. The entrance for the Grand Palace is 500 baht. It's roughly 13 to 14 euros for the entrance fee. Be sure if you go to this area, you should be appropriately dressed. Legs must be covered. But if you don't want to wear some pants going there, there's a lot of people like selling like the elephant pants on the streets will like cost you 100 baht so it's not very expensive after you go to the grand palace our next stop will be Watpo, which is like few meters away from the grand palace you can just walk basically it is one of the oldest buddhist temple in thailand inside you can admire the largest reclining buddha it is 45 meters long and 15 meters high. Check the feet of the Buddha to see the encrusted pearls decoration. Entrance fee for the reclining Buddha will cost you 200 baht or 5 to 6 euros. After your first day, you go back to your hotel, you take a shower, you take a rest, and then on the evening, you have two options. You can do a cruise, a dinner cruise along the river, or you can visit some of the uh, rooftop bars in Bangkok. Some of the rooftop terrace that I personally recommend are the roof with the splendid view of Wat Aran, Vertigo Moon Bar, it is located at the top of Banyan Tree Hotel, Sky Bar Lebuwa which is famous because of the movie Hangover. You can also try 360 Lounge at the top of the Hilton Hotel. You can visit Park Society which is very close to Lumpini Park. You can try Cloud 47, it is in the financial district. And of course, you can also visit Red Sky which is on the 55th floor of the Central World. After your cruise or after your rooftop bar experience in Bangkok, on your second day, I personally recommend for you to visit Wat Aran. It is located on the other side of Grand Palace and Wat Po. Take a shuttle boat that costs 4 baht or 20 cents euro from Grand Royal Palace going across the river. Wat Aran is especially known for its 82 meters tower entirely covered in tiny pieces of colorful porcelain. The entrance fee for Wat Aran is 50 baht or 1 to 2 euros. After you visit Wat Arun, you can now head to your next destination, which is Wat Saket or Golden Mount. Built on top of a hill, Golden Mount Temple allows you to enjoy a 360 view of Bangkok. The entrance fee for Wat Saket is 50 euros or 1 to 2 euros as well. After your second day in Bangkok, do not miss to have a Thai massage. If you go to Bangkok, you can find Thai massage everywhere. It's either in your hotel, which is very expensive, so I suggest for you to go in the streets and have your Thai massage. It will cost you around 500 baht or like 13 to 14 euros per hour. 
So every time I go to Bangkok, this is the first thing I do after the flight. So we arrive in Bangkok, we take a shower, head to the streets, and do a Thai massage, which is like very relaxing. I personally recommend for you to do it if you go to Bangkok. On your third day in the city of Bangkok, if you have time, I personally recommend for you to go to the floating market. One of the most famous floating market is Damowen Saduwak Floating Market. To go there, the best option for you is to book a organized tour departing from Bangkok. So I will put on the link on the description below for the tours that we used when we were in Bangkok when we visited the floating market. If you don't want to go to a floating market, basically you can go to the city of Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya is only one hour away by car from Bangkok. It is the Asian capital kingdom of Siam. Nowadays, a UNESCO World Heritage Site features many temples to visit. If you can only do one day trip from Bangkok, you should really do this one. Every day, buses and trains leave for Ayutthaya. And if you don't want to bother with the organization of the trip, you can book an organized day trip which is also included on the description below. On your fourth day, and if your flight is on the afternoon, I personally recommend for you to visit Lumpini Park. Lumpini Park, you can stroll along the landscape path and around the lake. If you have kids, they will for sure enjoy the playgrounds and the swan-shaped pedal boats. During your walk in the park, keep your eyes open and you will probably spot a few Malay lizards. As they look Komodo dragons, they can be quite impressive at first glance. However, they are not reputed to be dangerous. But still, they are wild animals with unpredictable reactions. Some of them can last 3 meters long. So those are the tips that I personally recommend for you if you want to visit Bangkok on your 4 days and 3 nights on that amazing city. Every time I go to Bangkok, I really feel safe because it feels like Manila for me except you remove the hold uppers. <laughs> I really felt safe walking in the streets of Bangkok. The last time I went to Bangkok was 2019 and uh, the last time there were no street vendors anymore. They're not allowed to do that. But there are some designated places for the uh, stalls that are open, that are selling clothes, bags, and food. If you have time on your last day as well, you can visit the Sunday market which is the Chato Chan, which is like a very good market that sells everything that you need <laughs> in your life once again if you like this video you can give it a like you can share it you can click subscribe if you want this video once again my name is Irwin and this is Ian Aroma channel bye bye